Crazy conspiracy theories that turned out to be true. Operation Cauldron. The year is 1952, and the British government has just started a secret trial of biological weapons. This secret operation involved scientists from both the Royal Navy and Porton Down, and their job was to release biological agents onto caged monkeys and guinea pigs to see exactly what would happen. And the specific biological agents that these scientists were releasing onto these animals were the following. The pneumonic plague, the babonic plague, brucellosis, and tularemia. The ultimate goal of these secret operations were to see what the actual effects would be on these animals to test their effectiveness in a warfare situation. But of course, it doesn't end there. This is only the beginning. And Britain isn't even the only government involved. Even though this entire operation is undertaken by Britain, these secret tests were actually a joint venture between the United States and Canada as well. And due to this collaboration, US documents actually later confirmed that this operation was not purely defensive in nature, like they tried to initially claim once they were exposed. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Now, when doing testing with extremely infectious diseases, especially when you're doing it in secret, you have to make sure that you're doing this in a way that is extremely covert and safe to ensure that nobody sees it and the spread of this disease does not go outside your test subjects. And for that reason, the British government decided that the best way to execute Operation Cauldron was by literally taking a floating pontoon, putting it off the coast of the Isle of Lewis. 